Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Toyota Gear Oil. This is the sample that I removed from my 2013 Toyota Sequoia. I'm going to give you guys an overview, lab results, and tell you guys everything you need to know about Toyota Lexus Gear Oil that's being used in rear diff, front diff, and transfer case. So in uh, pickup trucks, SUVs, and some cars, they have rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. There is a gear oil being used either in front dip or rear dip, depending on what you have. Unless Toyota calls out for a manual, in a manual transmission that uses gear oil. Otherwise, but before I go into the details, let me give you a quick overview of my channel and what I do on my channel. On my channel, I do reviews. Maintenance repairs on Toyota, Lexus, and Ford. Those are the main things that I do. Like I said, maintenance, repairs, reviews. Also, in addition, I do reviews of automotive fluids. So, this fluid came out from 2013 Toyota Sequoia when I was doing uh, replacing all my fluids, gear oil, and you're probably wondering why. Why should you replace or why was I replacing it? You know what I mean? If the factory says it's good for 100,000, 10 years. Well, here is the problem, guys. Factory tells you it's good for 100,000. But the fluid, this fluid that came out, it's original OEM Toyota Gear Oil. It's not synthetic. So it cannot last 10 years. It cannot last 100,000 miles. Why do you think Toyota or Lexus does not give a warranty for 100,000 or 10 years? Well, because they're smart and they know the fluid cannot last that long. So it's very smart to replace your fluid. And let me tell you something that you might not know, or many people are not aware of, that, that uh, general lifespan of a fluid sitting on a shelf in a closed container in a perfect environment is 5 years max. Yes. You heard me right. It's five years max. When it's in a bottle, like I'm showing you here, on a shelf in a perfect environment, an average life of a fluid is the maximum five years. And this is a synthetic. Non-synthetic, even shorter. Toyota used to say that you're supposed to change maximum at uh, 50k miles back in 90s with their gear oil. But here is the thing. They have increased the horsepower ratings of their engines, double or triple in, in many cases, but they haven't switched their gear oil to synthetic. So it's, it's not wise to use it past five years or 50,000 under normal. When if you tow or you'll do a lot of, you have a cargo carrier on top of your vehicle, don't run it because there's a lot of wear happening to your uh, rear differential or your front differential. So. Last year, when I replaced the fluid, I took a sample, you know, and with, instead of disposing everything to the uh, recycling center where they recycled the, uh, the, the fluids, I took it, put some in the cup, sent it out to the lab, and I had the lab results. And you can see them and follow me on the screen. So at 54,000 miles, the fluid is still okay, but it has a lot of iron content. There's a lot of iron in it. The reason for iron is, uh, you can read the notes yourself, but it has 267. So the higher the iron content, it means the fluid is not doing the job. It's a lot of metal against metal rubbing, you know what I mean? So it wears out your bearings, your gears, whatever, whatever the metal against metal is happening. So it's very severe when you have at 54,000 miles and five years, and the iron is high. The fluid is, it's already on the border. When I called the company who did my oil analysis, you can see on the screen, they told me probably you could have made it to 70,000, but that means your iron level will increase. The higher the number, see, the, the thing is, the longer you drive with a, with, a, with a bad fluid, the faster it accelerates the wear on your, uh, your differential, uh, your transfer case because fluid itself in the differential it's exposed to high heat cold environment 
it's exposed to moisture so all those factors you know you the pressure you know what i mean from the engine that you're pulling out or you towing or you hauling you know what i mean so all those things that affect the performance of the oil and causes to wear out causes to go bad bad so five years is the maximum you want to go toyota used to like i said Toyota used to recommend five years maximum under normal condition three years if towing well they they switched to they realized because they were losing a lot of money on service on the repairs well let's see how much of the stuff is in the fluid itself so i'm going to use clean there is no dirt or nothing you see right there on the blade the metal fine powder metal right there that it's running that's that's you should see my video when I was replacing the fluid how much junk was there in a in a fluid like like high content of the iron you know what I mean metal this fine powdery stuff that would destroy your fluid well yeah destroy your fluid and your gears and your seals there you go this is the reason why factory fluids are not the best because they only design and engineer to basically 36 K, you know what I mean? Bumper to bumper warranty that they offer. Maximum 50,000 miles or 60,000 miles. Fluid might look like it's clean, but lab results show you different things. Oh, right there, see, it's running. Oh no, it's running right there. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of iron on the tip of the blade. So, so what you want to do? What I did, I switched to. MSO gear oil and here is the thing the other thing that I want to mention you know like I said the iron level is high silicone is high and you can read all those numbers uh, manganese is high so all those there's you know those numbers are pretty high and acid numbers are high too they say acid numbers are slightly high acid means it's the ability so the fluid is not doing it, its job to neutralize the acid so it's the higher the percentage of acid in the fluid and that what does the acid does acid does to the metal components well it corrodes it corrodes the uh, seals it corrodes the gears so once it's corroded it fails prematurely and you cannot get what I get as many miles and I have noticed a lot of people complain about Toyota uh, uh, Toyota Tundra fuel economy. Tell you what, guys. I have noticed big increase. I have noticed a big difference. Yes, an increase in fuel economy when I switch to M soil gear oil. It's, it's it's such a difference that I'm gonna in one of my videos I'm gonna show you the difference before and after gear oil. So if so so this is the reason why you wanna one of the reasons why you wanna subscribe to my channel and click the bell because you're gonna know. And see the difference and I'm gonna compare on my vehicles I'm gonna show you guys how much of a difference it's made people come like I said people complain about the fuel economy but my fuel economy on Sequoia with 5.7 and 4.3 rear end I can my average is 16 that means driving about 75 80 percent city stop and go and maybe 20 20 percent highway and I'm getting 16 average highway I'm getting from 18 to 20. Yes, with 4.3 uh, gear ratio, 5.7, four wheel drive, 2012 Toyota Sequoia. And the weight, weight of Sequoia is much higher than Tundra. Tundra is about what, 56, 5,700 pounds, while Toyota Sequoia weighs about 6,000 pounds. So there is a more weight to it. So if you want to see better fuel economy, less resistance you noticeable you can feel the difference switch to MSOIL gear oil and by the way my video is not sponsored you know what i mean none of my videos are sponsored this video is not sponsored and you know what i mean i don't i use this product because i like it and i want to see other people using it and you can purchase MSOIL gear oil actually on the website bestrfluids.com if you have questions ask me you know what i mean great product i there are other people that i have recommended and they saw a difference, less noise coming from their differential, better fuel economy, you know what I mean? So, and the reason why, because it's synthetic. Synthetic, it's, it's a high quality product. 
If this fluid didn't work for me, would not recommend it, would not be using it myself. So this is the reason why you want to switch. And you never follow the factory recommended interval service. Never. I never follow. I follow my own and I go by the oil analysis report. Because what I found, uh, the following factory recommended services, it's, it's really a bad idea because engines are pushing two, three times more horsepower, so there is more stress on components, but the fluids they use, they're not the best fluids. I mean, because the fluid cannot protect your differential or your transfer case for 100k miles because you're going to have a severe wear. So if you want to have, if you want to have a trouble-free uh, differential and transfer case, switch to Amsoil. I use it myself, I recommend to others, and many people have left outstanding comments about Amsoil. Those who never tried and they saw fuel economy increase, you know, less noise, less drag, it's just running smoother, it's easier, and enjoy. Enjoy my video, enjoy Amsoil products, Share my video with others, I would appreciate And thank you for those of you who already made a purchase through bestarafluids.com. And I wish you the best, guys. Good luck. Thank you.